Hey guys. Okay, it is time for April completed pages. I can't even believe it. Um, but I have so, so many. I did a lot of PDFs because I had publishers send me their books. Um, so I, d I do have a lot, several PDFs, way more than I normally have. So, and sorry for the camera shift because that's what we're doing, but whatever. Okay, um, we're first going to go through a little bit of information. I have got 33 pages for this month. Um, and I did eight out of my nine buddy colors. I just, yeah, uh, the one I just didn't really have the motivation to. So, um, and so, yeah, but yeah, I didn't complete bingo. I did a pretty good job, but all right, we're going to move on. All right, we're going to first start with Floral Mandala's Folk Art Style. Um, I haven't colored in this in a long, long, long time. Who is this by? Isn't it my... Oh, Debbie Dentrum. I couldn't remember. But, yeah, I... Basically, this style of book gives you a color palette on the bottom, and you use the color palette however you wish. So, I kind of... Oh, I didn't realize I did the cover image, but this is how I did it. It turned out a lot darker than I thought it was going to, so... Sorry guys for the camera. I just can't even deal with it right now. But yeah, so that is what I did. And that one, you get the color palette on the bottom. And I'm struggling. What the heck, guys? I'm so sorry. Okay, so I am gonna really, really quickly take out the, um, but yeah, like I said, I haven't worked in this book in a while. And I was looking through PDFs and I was like, you know what? Let's do it. It's easy. Gives you a color palette. So it's nice. All right, next I worked in the uh, Co Fantasy Kawaii Kingdom, and I have done a flip through of all of this. It's the C Collector's Edition Volume 1, and I did this one, this one, this one, this one. It was a buddy color, um, and it was a buddy color with a new friend of mine, Kelly, over on Instagram, and I used Ohuhu markers crayon background and then I did liquid pearls for the stars and then some glitter Michaels recollections glitter glue for the red hearts so yeah I had a lot of fun with that one so did I do any more in there I didn't do any more in that one okay that's a lot of pages in that book so all right and then in this is Alice Mills um publishing's newest and this is their um, new series of color by number. I did two pages. Oh, sorry. This is Bunno and Mousy's Kawaii Adventures. So first one I did was this one. And I did this with the Ohuhu Pastels because their color palette is um, very pastel colors for this book. And then I did this one as well. So those are the two that I did in the newest Alice Mills. And then in Sun Life Drawing um, Birds, I did one, I think. Yeah, just one. I was going to do another, but I didn't have time. And I did this Pigeon. I think it's Pigeon. So, yeah, various alcohol markers, permanent markers, a variety of things. So, here's that one. Well, I feel like I'm terribly out of practice. All right, the next page is Colored, Car colored Caramels. Um, kawaii unicorns and I did this one you guys loved this one on Instagram mm. again some alcohol markers crayon background and yeah I really like it there are some glitter on the yellow bits the yellow stars all right we have this is like one of my favorite pages that I did for this month this is from coloring heaven fledgling fairy special and I have never colored a Christine Karen page until this point. And I might be a little bit obsessed now. Just saying. So, yeah. I did her in the handful of Copics that I have. And you've got some Spectrum Noir glitter pen. But I, like, was obsessed with how this turned out. But there is that one. I have another colored caramel. This is Cute Spring Gnomes. 
And I did this one. You guys loved my neon <laughs> on Instagram as well. But again, crayon background. This was mostly neon Sharpie. Um, the blue was the only thing that was not neon Sharpie. It was a Prismacolor marker. So I this is like seriously one of the cutest pages. Okay. In Endless Summer, I did a body color with Michelle um, Kits and Caboodles. We love to do our George Tooth Axis body colors. So I we did the flower pot. Um, and uh, like I'm very obsessed. Like I love how the bricks look. I love how the flowers turned out. I love how this whole page really does look. I love how that looks really shadowed. But love my George Tooth Axis. Okay, I did another George Tooth Axis in Spectacular Spring Scenes, and I did the bird. This one I'm kind of going in order now. I've done a lot in this book, really. I really have. Um, so, I think if any George Tooth Axis book, I would probably be able to finish this one more than any other because I've done a lot of pages in it. All right, in 50 Prehistoric Miniatures by Camellia Angelkova. I was having marker issues galore in here, and you'll see that on the tree. This was a buddy color with Shelby at Shelby, golly, Shelby's Coloring and Crafts. So I did this with her. Yeah, a lot of the markers were running, were running dry. All right, in 50 Vacation Miniatures, I am... I did two buddy colors, and these were with Emily's coloring, I think. Not. Emily's coloring corner, sorry. I had to think of the name of the channel. So we did the camping page first, or sorry, second. I did it in watercolor pencil, and then I we also did this one as well. This was with Emily. So again, watercolor pencils, metallic watercolor for all of the water. But yeah, that one was, was around Easter time, so I felt it was right. All right, in Stone Mosaics, Black Edition. Guys, I'm getting to the end. I think I have like five pages left, maybe less. I did the butterflies. Is that the only one I did? I think so. Yeah. So I just did the butterflies. I was mostly Sharpie on that one. All right, in 100 beautiful mandalas. Haven't worked in this in a minute. I just got out my Dollar Tree glitter gel pens and did the shimmery shininess that is that. Okay. Um, in 50 Woodland Miniatures, I did one and it was this one. And I, I don't know, I kind of randomly was like, I never colored the mice. So let's do one that is the mice. So that's kind of what I did. And I just noticed I didn't go over the blue, but yeah, watercolor pencils. And then um, 50 Easter miniatures. I did this one, again, another case of, I never do the door pages. So that one's nice. Okay. Um, I don't even remember doing the page in here, but ceramic tiles, the first one, the original, I did one. Not even remembering that I did it. Crayon marker method, like I do most of the Tsatch Deva books. Um, we have Easter ceramic tiles. I know these were body colors with um, Elizabeth Rector. We did the bunny. Again, that awesome crayon marker technique. And then we also did the butterfly. So. All right. This is a split color. This is my fiance's and I split color book. And this is Dragon Land by the Coloring Cove. We did this page. I always do the left and he always does the right. So, yeah. Some of that glitter fell over. Um, but yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's always a good time to work in that. 
and we're making our way through it. We really are. Okay, this is Patterns and Doodles color by number. And I did this one. This was for my um, non-color by number crayon marker method book. I did throw in some glitter gel pen on the hair bows, but yeah, I want to do another one in this book really bad. Okay, we have Tiffany Windows Stained Glass by Color Questopia. This was a buddy color with Heather at Heather's Hectic Hideaway. We chose the Flamingo page. Again, another book I want to do more in. Alcohol markers. Um, Kawaii Puzzle. This is the Puzzle Books by Velva Family. I did this one. I am making my way through this book. Just going to tell you all that right now. That's the ones where you it gives you the coordinates and you have to color it in based on the coordinates. All right. Then I did Gnome for the Holidays by Tabitha Barnett. I did an Easter one. Just wanted to do a quick color with some alcohol markers. Oh, who pastel markers. So, all right. Now we are on to the Disney which I did a quite a bit, um, and I will show you guys. Um, some of them were, um, I was had to paint in the backgrounds, and because I paint the backgrounds, so I'm going to show you all of them. So I did this queen lady. I had to do her orange background, so that is why she is now a completed page. Same for the Lion King. Again, I had to paint Simba's background. So those two are complete now. So I can take their tabs out. Um, all right, this one again had a nut. The tab is on the side for this one because I still have to do the background. Um, I did, this is a buddy color with Kathy. We do the random number generate um, for our buddy colors and we chose 98 this time. So I chose this Aristocat page. Her skin tone looks a little crazy for her hands, but I matched the color, so who knows. But yeah, I really like her. I did her all in pencil. Okay, and then for Trompe l'Oeil, Tome 2. Oh my gosh, I didn't say the names of any of the Disney's, but we're okay. I had to do the background on her. I had to do her green background. And then I also had to do a Judy Hopps background. So those are the ones that I did for these that I had to do their backgrounds. Okay, last but not least, I did two pages in Love Stories. Guys, and if you know this book, it is really, really, really detailed. So these pages take a while to do. All right, first, I have this one. Well, I actually didn't do it first, but. So there is Aladdin and Jasmine. Love, love, love. The little details on the dad and Raja was like craziness for details. But I think it turned out really good. Prisma colors only in these books. Because um, there's nothing that's big enough spaces to wear. I need to paint it. So, and then we did also, I did the Aristocats. So, yeah. That is all 33 of my finished pages. Um, if you guys would like to buddy color, please reach out to me on Instagram. Um, right now, I have one buddy color set up, and that's it for now. So, if you would like to buddy color, please reach out. Um, I would love to do that. Disney, Camellia Angel Cova, George Chifexis, anything. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next one.